Yeah, I love that view of the sunrise, Mike. But I just wanted to hit this drought one more time because of how important it is for the Bay Area. And seeing us move up in a category to now extreme drought, of course, you're thinking, okay, so we're in a drought. What does that mean to me? Well, that means that we could see trees really getting stressed as well as, of course, a really bad wildfire season with the vegetation dried out. But this is also more expensive for farmers to irrigate water to their crops. And that could mean that our food prices could be going up in the distance future a lot of impacts because of drought conditions that we are seeing not only here in the Bay Area but all across California as well as the West as so these rainfall deficits continue to grow each day now that we're in April we usually start to see our rainfall taper off but we're still seeing these deficits grow each day we get all clear sunshine we're seeing that right now and temperatures have been quite warm we made it into the mid 80s for some of our inland spots like Morgan Hill Livermore as well as Antioch and also up toward Ukiah we're going to see the same thing again today with some warm temperatures and high pressure keeping the storm track to the north. We're actually in a La Nina, which may have an influence on how dry it's been. And all of the storms have been driven to the north of the Bay Area across the Pacific Northwest. As they move through, they're going to kick up the winds for the weekend. And we'll see our temperatures coming down a few degrees, but still those gusty winds and no rain in the forecast over the next seven days with highs in the low 80s. San Francisco will stay in the 60s for highs, so no changes there. More sunshine in that forecast.